What's up, YouTube? It's Adrian from MMO's World, bringing you another recap of all the major MMORPG news that happened throughout the week. So sit tight and soak it in. We are starting the news this week with Wild West Online. The cowboy western MMORPG will launch its early access alpha on November the 15th. Beginning next Wednesday, all players who own a Founders Pack will be able to check out the game again. During the early access alpha, players can expect over a hundred quests, 20 guns to use, and two public events to check out. The full release of the game is expected to be out later in the year, so the alpha will be a pretty good indicator on whether or not the game is ready. Moving on, Richard Garriott's Shroud of the Avatar, an early access MMORPG on Steam, is hosting yet another free trial run for potential players, and the promo runs until the 15th of November. As usual, new players can create an account and jump into the game for free. Of course, there are restrictions in place for visiting players, such as no trading, no PvP, no public chests, no ownership of property, limited items to purchase, and no offline mode. Either way, check it out if you are interested. Up next, Smite is spicing things up in its MOBA. They have just introduced a brand new PvE co-op adventure called The Shadows Over Hercopolis. This new team-based adventure will see you and some friends venture north to solve a mystery. Loki has kidnapped King Hercules and it's your job to find and rescue him. Along the way, there's secrets to uncover, gold to earn, and things to kill. There will be over 70 plus gods that players can select from this adventure. Each will have their own unique abilities in combat, so feel free to test them out. In addition to the new adventure mode, the Shadows of Hercopolis bundle is on sale as well. For 900 gems, you can get the pack that comes with the gold key, some exclusive skins, and a whole bunch more. Over at DC Universe Online, the superhero MMORPG will bring its latest episode, Earth 3, to the game on the 15th of November. The update will introduce the Crime Syndicate, Earth 3's evil version of the new Justice League. Therefore, Earth 3 is set on an alternate universe of Earth where good is evil and evil is good. Some heroes such as Owlman, Ultraman, and Superwoman are going to feature in as well. There's new open world missions in Gotham, in addition to new two-player ops. Moreover, there's two new eight-player raids in addition to a four-player alert. On to Secret World Legends now, and Funcom's free-to-play MMORPG is bringing some pretty welcome changes to the game in the near future regarding the way players obtain and upgrade their talisman equipment. The first major change is that there will be a new anima allocation coming to the game. Talismans will have a power score on each item. Beginning at level 20, players can select what archetype or stat the talisman uses. For example, you can select it to be either DPS, tank, or heals, and the power will go to what you pick. You can change this as many times as you want, but must not be in combat to do so. Moving on, Ashes of Creation have shared some information in the past week about how taverns should work in their MMO, and it actually sounds pretty good. Developers Intrepid agrees that taverns are great places to rally, restock supplies, and meet new adventurers, but it can be so much more. Therefore, in Ashes of Creation, taverns will give you rested XP, customization for the owner of the tavern, varying music, bulletin boards for custom quests, and even tavern games to earn gold, among others. That actually sounds pretty exciting, and we can't wait for the game to arrive so we can check it out. And finally this week, MU Legend has entered its open beta, opening the game up to all players worldwide. Anyone participating will not have any progression lost when the game officially launches because there are no server wipes, which is good news. The game itself is pretty fun and will remind you a lot of Diablo 3 with lots of MMORPG mechanics thrown in for good measure. Check it out if you haven't. And that wraps up our major MMO news recap for the week. For more MMORPG news as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsWorld.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MMO content. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOs World, signing out.